So what the heck is an Ocean Lab 6? It's a three-month undersea education program I was accepted to, but it's prohibitively expensive. I was underwater so no one would see my tears. When it comes to my kids, there's no such thing as prohibitionally expensive. How much we talking? Whoa, yeah, that ain't happening. I've never had to say this in my life, but I can't afford that. Nice going. Now your father's drowning his sorrows in hot sauce, you selfish little prick. Leave him alone. It's not his fault I'm a worker day schmuck who can't afford underwater nerd school. <sighs> on top of that, I went and ruined my breakfast. I can help with one of them problems. I used to make this for Don Gambini. The man was a notorious overspicer. He'd cover his cannelloni in pepper flakes, and then he'd piss and moan about how hot it was. And when he pissed and moaned, chefs lost their thumbs. Holy crap, these taste like eggs again. The spice is gone. Like I said behind the Don's back, you're welcome, you whiny bitch. I think you got the solution to your money problem right there. Cookie's right. We could use this to extort every Indian restaurant in town. Pay up, or the Vindaloo gets it. Haven't you idiots figured out there's legal ways to make a buck? Course not. Luckily, I have. Now, let's go take the spice out of life. Welcome to Scorpion's Hive, the publicly funded show that provides investment opportunities for private venture capitalists. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Oh, no! I overspiced my food. It's burning a hole in my tongue. Jimmy? You're supposed to be at work! Agnes, get back to the office, quick! What if someone needs a map? Hey, lady. Them spices hot enough for yous? My name is Neutralizer, and I'm here to say I'm gonna take all the spice from your spices away. Spice it, yeah. Spice it down. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Ming's right. Just tell us about the product so we can rip your new one. It's Spice Neutralizer. You sprinkle it on overly spicy food, and it kills the heat, but not the taste. Who's your target market? Munja cake white people who can't handle a little pepper. What are your sales, figure? Hey. Wasn't I married to you once? You look terrible, Cheech. Oh, man, I walk out on you. You bad man. What's your business plan? To make a crap ton of money and send my kid to space. I import knockoff yoga pants, Belgium video game, and spices. I'm out. Bad idea. As an Irish Canadian, I wasn't even aware food could be spicy. I'm out. I like this idea. But I don't want to invest in it. I prefer to license it from you. What's that mean? It means I do all the work, assume all the risk, pay you half the profits, and you do nothing. You've always wanted to do nothing, Jimmy. Hold out for less than nothing. What do you mean you lost the spice neutralizer recipe? Wheat Din's gonna be here any minute. Just write it down again. I would, but I can't remember it. I only got so much room up here. I can't rememberize the whole recipe and the names of all the hobbits. Ah, crap! That's wheat then. Maybe it's in my other pants. You don't have other pants. Okay, okay. I'll scratch other pants off the list. But that is a lot of zeros. Let's count them again. One. Two. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were stalling me for some reason. He's on to us. Forget it! Okay, look, Cheech lost the formula. We'll find it, we just need time. But I've already bought factories and hired sweatshop workers. Spice Neutralizer launches next week. I'm having several Spice Girls neutralized to mark the occasion. Touch Ginger and I'll cut ya! You have till Monday to produce that formula. Otherwise, I'll have to sue you for misrepresentation. Sorry, Jimmy. It's nothing personal, just business. You can't say that! That's my people saying! How does he do that? Cheech, if you don't remember that formula, Wheat Thin's gonna take us for everything we got. I got this, Jimmy. Trust me. Do you mean trust me, trust me, or f*** you trust me? The nice one. <laughs> 
Cheech didn't lose it. Someone stole it. And I bet it was that Ming broad from Scorpion's Hive. That's classy. Blame the Asian. It's got nothing to do with being Asian. And everything to do with being Cheech's ex-wife. How much more motive does she need? She's right. You know what they say? Hell hath no flurry like a woman's corns. All right. Me and Jimmy will muscle that formula away from Ming. You gals go home and sync up your cycles. We're not sending two goons in to intimidate a small-boned lady. It needs a woman's touch. Give me the formula, Toots, or I'll rip your freaking lips off. Jesus, Ma! What the hell Big Crazy Beach talking about? I'm talking Russian roulette with an automatic. Unless you start singing. Oh, Ma! Where the hell you been all my life? The formula's gotta be stashed around here someplace. She comes from a very crafty culture. Isn't that a little racist, Cheech? Talk to me when you've spent three weeks in a Chinese finger trap. Oh, God! That's strong! I feel like I've been maced. Nah, mace feels worse than this. See? Oh, damn it, Cheech! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to illustrate a point. Ow! <laughs> oh, my eyes! Still not as bad as Mace, but... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, O'Shea did it. That leprechaun always whines about not making enough money from the TV show. All right, thanks, Ming. Sorry I pointed a gun at your head. Oh, that's nothing compared to Canadian immigration. Oh! Oh! Teresa did it! That's just great. Now she's suing us, too. Way to go, Cheech. How is this in any way my fault? Going on that crazy TV show was Cookie's idea. Don't blame me, you sack of shit. Guys, guys, calm down. We all know this is Petey's fault. No, it's Ma and Pops for having a brainiac for a son. Yeah, if he was a moron like the rest of us, this would have never happened. I screw you guys. I'm gonna go talk to O'Shea myself. Unlike you idiots, I know how to get things done. You're supposed to blow up the other guy's car, is to get things done. I'm telling you, Mokul, O'Shea's behind this. Are you suggesting the Premier is embroiled in some sort of spice neutralizer conspiracy? That's preposterous. So you're not gonna help us? Au contraire, Jimmy. I'll see this through to the end. My first step, spending nine hours on hold with your government-sponsored insurance company. For Canada, where no-fault liability means everyone gets screwed equally. The jig's up, O'Shea. We know about your problems with Scorpion's Hive. How'd you find out? Let's just say... Ming told us. She knows? After she swore I didn't talk in my sleep? You slept with my wife? Ah, we only cuddled. <gasps> with me penis in her. Son of a bitch! Who gives a sh**? You were married three days! I've only had this shirt three days. I still don't want him sticking his dick in it. Now give us what we want, O'Shea. Security, get in here. I've got some trash to take out. Oh, right, I'll crack a window. Wake up! Uh, I thought I told you girls to stay home. Aren't you glad we don't listen to you very often? Teresa followed O'Shea. He's meeting with buyers. Come on! Whoa! One more step and I get a free coffee. Everything's coming up, Cheech. I'll have to see the money before I can commit to anything, you cheap, sleazy bastards. Oh, that's where my flashlight went. Not so fast, O'Shea. You're too late, you jackasses. It's done. You can't sell stolen property. Oh, God, listen to me. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> and violence never solved anything. <laughs> this is getting weird. The deal's off. Now look what you did. You blew me chances. Screw you, O'Shea. That spice neutralizer recipe belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about, you giant bloody festering tit? I was about to sign a deal with a rival network for me own investment show, Piranha Creek. I thought you was trying to extort me. For what? If Scorpion's Hive found out about Piranha Creek before I jump ship, they'd gnaw the flesh off the deal's meaty bones. Wait, which one of you is the piranha? It's Canadian television, Jimmy. We all are. Oh, Christ. Now I'm stuck on that low-paying show. Hey, would you look at that? Look at that indeed. Tabby's mom is looking pretty fine. <laughs> Going somewhere, Toby? <laughs> You've come for vengeance! Make it quick! Not the face! Open casket! Who's gonna rub mother's feet? Calm down! Pull yourself together! Thank you, Jimmy. I deserve that. A and probably that, too. Now you're just doing it for fun! Stop it, Jimmy! It's my time! Ow! You Ow! stole my Ow! formula, didn't you? Yes, at the TV studio. I knew Jimmy would quit Regina Tourism once he got rich. <laughs> I couldn't face work without my best friend in the whole wide world! <laughs> Who? Me? But I had a change of heart and left the recipe in your car. Mom insisted on coming with me. It was too late to put out the fire, so I grabbed Mom, stopped, dropped, and rolled her, and we took off. But you saved the recipe, right? No, it went up with your car. Ah, great, I'm screwed. Thanks a lot, you stupid son of a bitch. Lucky it's easy to remember. Baking soda, flour, vanilla extract, and... A dash of cumin. I don't know why that was so hard to remember, Cheech. Oh, yeah? Go on, ask me. Which one's Frodo? <laughs> <laughs>